With just a little over three weeks left before the official launch of Quest 3, there's already quite a bit revealed about this headset, so let's tally up everything we know about it and how it compares to Quest 2, which will help you understand if Quest 3 is worth the upgrade or not. MetaQuest 3 was first unveiled on June 1st during the company's annual FA Developer Conference. Mark Zuckerberg confidently claimed that this headset will be the next big leap in VR, and to be fair, Quest 2 indeed was a huge leap forward for consumer VR. After all, it's got more people interested in virtual reality than any other headset, selling over 10 million units in the first year alone since its release. And whether or not Quest 3 will be able to break those numbers, only time will tell. I'm fairly certain that price was a very important factor that contributed to those impressive sales. Quest 2 64GB version that was later discontinued initially was sold for as low as $299 in the US, putting it with in the range of an impulse purchase and a reasonably priced Christmas or birthday gift. But to get your hands on Quest 3, you will need to spend hefty $4.99 US dollars, which will definitely make new VR users think twice about buying it. Still, let's not forget that Quest 2 was released in 2020, and the inflation has been relentless since then. Because Quest 3 will not be coming as a 64GB model, it makes sense to compare it to the 256 model, which in 2020 was sold for $3.99. And if I pull the US inflation calculator, I can check the buying power of Quest 2 and it turns out that the same item that cost $399 in 2020 would cost over $470 US dollars, which is almost the expected cost of Quest 3, which is a much more powerful headset than Quest 2. So yes, while Quest 3 is more costly at launch than Quest 2, I don't give in to the hysteria that it is unreasonably high priced. Nevertheless, I do think that this price price tag will most likely hurt the Quest 3 sale. We have limited information about specs of this headset, but here's what we do know. Quest 3 will have a 40% slimmer overall design compared to Quest 2. The new design supposedly will make the headset more comfortable and lightweight. Just like Quest Pro, it will have pancake lenses to reduce the device's size and improve comfort. Pancake lenses use multiple layers of thin lenses to bend light more efficiently and compactly than Fresnel lenses that are used in Quest 2. Fresnel lenses are thicker and are more prone to glare and god rays. And if you've tried Quest Pro and Quest 2, you will instantly understand the huge difference in the image quality that pancake lenses make. So, pancake lenses allow for a thinner and flatter headset design that reduces eye strain and increases the field of view. Even though Quest 3 seems like it will have a continuous IPD adjustment, which is better than in Quest 2, I do not see a built-in diopter, meaning that if you're with wearing glasses, you probably will need to look into getting prescription lenses to enhance your comfort. I always recommend people buy the magnetic lenses from VR Wave, as I think that they sell the highest quality lenses out there. And they'll also be selling Quest 3 lenses very soon, and you'll be able to pre-order them on their website vrwave.store. When you pre-order, you'll get $5 off these lenses, and if you also use my discount code DISCOVR, you'll get 5% off on top of that. So go check it out if this is something that you need. Moving on, Meta Quest 3 will have have a new Snapdragon chipset to power its virtual reality and mixed reality experiences. The new Snapdragon chipset will enable higher resolution, faster frame rates, better graphics, and lower latency for both VR and AR applications. It will also support wireless streaming from PC or cloud, as well as standalone gaming, which is something that Quest 2 already does, but it is claimed that Quest 3 will be doing the PC streaming much better. As a reminder, Quest 2 uses a Snapdragon XR2 chipset, which is based on an older architecture and has lower performance and efficiency. The new chipset is promised to more than double the graphic performance of Quest 2, which is super exciting. Speaking of AR applications, Quest 3 will have five cameras for tracking and pass-through, and it will include a depth sensor that supposedly will make the pass-through quality the best that we have ever seen in VR. The cameras will also enable advanced features such as spatial mapping, object recognition and gesture control and some others. MetaQuest 2 only has four cameras which limits its tracking capabilities and the monochromatic pass-through quality is not the best. Even the quality of Quest Pro full-color pass-through wasn't particularly exciting, so hopefully what we will see on Quest
Us 3 will be the true game changer that we have been promised. In fact, the most recent leaks show an impressive new room scanning feature that supposedly allowed the headset to scan your room and set up a guardian by just glancing around. If true, this smart guardian is going to be a groundbreaking feature making guardian setup much easier and faster than we could ever imagine, especially if comparing to Quest 2. And the Quest 3 controllers are better than Quest 2, but not as good as Quest Pros. The Quest 3 controllers are dropping that tracking ring that surrounds the Quest 2 controllers and instead puts the tracking on the front of the controller instead. This makes them sleeker and more ergonomic than Quest 2 controllers, although I did like that ring, but anyway, they will also have improved haptics for a more immersive experience. However, the Quest Pro controllers are self-tracking because they have these three cameras and an onboard chipset, meaning that tracking works at any angle regardless of where the headset is facing. That way, there are no dead zones in Quest Pro controllers and it offers more accurate tracking. And interestingly, Quest Pro controllers can be purchased separately like an accessory to Quest 2 and I speculate that they probably also will be compatible with Quest 3. Quest 3 will be compatible with Meta's existing ecosystem, so all the Meta games will be ready to play on day one and from what I could tell, mixed reality experiences will be a much bigger deal on Quest 3 than there was on Quest 2. You might think that mixed reality is not that big of a deal, but believe me, there are some experiences out there that are completely mind-blowing in AR. Quest 3 does seem to be a much more superior device than Quest 2 that's well worth the upgrade, especially considering that taking inflation into account, the price point isn't that scandalous. What do you think about it? Is $499 US dollars too expensive for Quest 3? And do you plan to pick it up anyway? Let me know any questions that you may have about this headset because I will be reviewing it on my channel as soon as I put my hands on it. And until then, because there are so many AR experiences that will be awesome on Quest 3, check out my video of 20 best pass-through games that you can play on Quest 2, Quest Pro and soon Quest 3.